kid y'all not it seems like when you're in nursing school the worst of the worst happens i don't know if it's just <laughs> to my channel it's your girl tatiana duh and i'm back with another video and in this video i am going to be talking about seven things i wish i knew before starting nursing school and um before we get into the video i do want to thank you for all of you guys who subscribe and welcome back to the channel and if you are new here hi my name is Tatiana and I am a nursing student and I am going into my second quarter of nursing school um, but I will be talking about seven things I wish I knew before starting nursing school because all of us need some help because nursing school already hard enough no need to gatekeeping so yeah let's get into it let's get into it so the first thing that i wish i knew is how fast that this is gonna go by like y'all you you just don't understand how excited i was when i was starting the my first semester quarter of nursing school and i was just like i just can't wait i just can't wait y'all after week two i blinked and it was like week 10 and I'm just like, what a time went. Like, when you be so into the studying and you get so wrapped into the assignments and then you got lecture, then you got lab, then you got work, then you got outside stuff. It's like, time just goes by like that. And it's just like, dang, like, it, go, it moves by so fast that it's like, you be like, dang, I wish I would have did this or dang, I should have wish I, wish I would have did that. Just keep in mind how fast stuff, how fast paced stuff is going to be. And just make sure you just try, you just stay afloat. I ain't going to say you just got to be up here, but just, just stay afloat because it's going to go by so fast. And it's like a kind of a stick or swim type of thing. Because if you get fall, if you fall behind and you get too far behind, too far behind then it's just like you, you drown and try to catch up. So just be prepared on how fast things are going to go. The number two thing I wish I knew is how to adjust quickly. When you spend so much time in a certain type of um, mindset, I would say, far as nursing school, like, the prerequisites versus nursing school itself is really is not the same it's not it's like prerequisites itself is just like the the baby the baby class baby classes compared to your actual nursing classes so it's like switching that mindset quickly from a pre like okay these classes is gonna be like this 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 and then switching your brain from that to in class style questions thinking in the mind of i'm a nurse like that is going that type of adjustment for me was kind of a it, it and me being a, a cna um it still was a adjustment for me because it was like dang i was so used to this one type of way and then now i'm learning this new whole new different thing and it's just like being able to adjust to that you gotta adjust fast because you do not want to get left behind because you can't spend too much time on dang like i'm really struggling because i can't adjust to this class blah 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 you got to put in that work to adjust you gotta you gotta do it quick because at the end of the day you're trying to get that degree and in order for you to get that degree you gotta adjust to situations like that and it's like that's why i feel like the nursing degree is one of those degrees where it's hard to get because you constantly but while you're in school you gotta always adjust quick to whatever situation so for me just i would advice i would give be ready to adjust quickly everything that you think you know you it's gonna be a whole 360 but just depending on your program just you know be aware of you're gonna have to make adjustments 
whether that's with your life, whether that's with how, um, you know, how you do time management, how you study, things like that. It's all going to be an adjustment, but you got to do it quick. So, <laughs> yeah. And number three thing I wish I knew was how much extra time that I was going to have to put in for nursing school. For anyone that is in nursing school and you're able, I would recommend doing any type of community service or any volunteering that you can with your program. Because not only does that help you gain, you know, more experience, but it actually puts you out there a little bit more so you can be able to see a broader, uh, a broader, a broader spectrum of things, but that also shows your willingness to help. And the whole program is, itself is, you're, you're trying to become a nurse. You're gonna have to take care of someone's mom, dad, grandmother, sister, brother one day. So doing those type of volunteering things, I feel like it will help prepare you and it also will make you look good because you're taking time out of your day to go, you know, volunteer. You know, not looking for anything in return. You know, you're just getting yourself out there for that exposure. So I would say just be, you know, open-minded if you can i know some of you guys have families you know you have jobs i work full time so trust me i understand because i was at work and then had to turn around and then volunteer right after that so i understand about like i might not have time i might have kids i understand how all those things can impact that i don't have kids myself but I do have a full-time job, so I do understand how time-consuming some things are. And, you know, you get tired, sleepy, and, you know, you mentally just be getting drained. So, if you can, I would highly, highly, highly recommend doing community service things for, within your program or volunteering, you know, within your program. That will help out. Um, the number four thing... The, the four number four is that nursing school is challenging but it is not impossible if it was impossible it wouldn't be any nurses nursing school in my opinion is challenging but it's not impossible so with that being said it's like you have to go into the mindset of Yes, it's going to be challenging, but it's not impossible to do. Like, with nursing school, y'all, I kid y'all not. It seems like when you're in nursing school, the worst of the worst happens. I don't know if it's just, <laughs> I don't know if it's a test from the good Lord to be like, let me, let me, let me challenge my, my strongest soldier with putting them through this while they're trying to go through nursing school. Like, I, I y'all, I can't even make this up. Like, I kid you not. When I say the worst of the worst that's happened to me while I was in nursing school, I'd be like, this ain't never happened no other time in my life. But as soon as I started nursing school, everything want to happen. Like, I kid y'all not. Please be prepared to deal with outside stuff along with you being in nursing school. Knowing how to tolerate and cope with all the outside stuff you have going on, whether that's outside stuff with your life, your kids, your dog, your family, your job, like yourself, like all of those things are a contributing factor to nursing school. That's why a lot of people can't get through it because they have so much outside stuff going on that impacts their actual learning in the program itself i say if you can learn how to deal with stressors or stress outside and you know with nursing school it's going to help you because for example um my my husband's grandmother passed away like uh, i believe like on a monday then my granddad passed on like a friday and this was right before this was like a, a week. No, I think this was like a week or two before finals. And then on top of that, 
both of their funerals was on the same day. Can you imagine having to deal with a loss, a double loss, and then both of the funerals being on the same day, and then you still having to go to school, you still having to study, you still having to go to work. Like mentally, I feel like in the nursing program, you get challenged more mentally than anything, anything at all. And I say for anybody that's going through anything in nursing school, you got this. You got this because you're being challenged for a reason. I feel like at the end of the day, it's going to the outs, the where you're trying to get is going to, you're going to look back on it like, I remember when I struggled and I went through all of this. It, you're going to appreciate the experience so much more when you're like, I really made it through all of this stuff and I was able to get this nursing degree. Like for anybody that's dealing with, you know, hardship with family, spouses, with their kids, push through. You got it. And don't, don't, please don't think you alone because I think 50, 70% of nursing school is stuff that happens outside of it. You got 30% where you got tests and all of that stuff, but a lot of the times it's stuff that's outside of it that makes it the actual nursing itself more nursing school itself more harder in my opinion um but you we, we we can get through it we can get through it i'm telling you we can i was able to pass and i went through a that a lot of stuff but then my first my first semester of nursing school so don't feel like you're alone or you can't do it because you can. So, uh, number five is how to stay mentally okay. Like when you are in nursing school, it takes up so much of your time, y'all. Like you'd be like, even when you just sitting, you could just be sitting for 15 minutes. You're like, dang, I should really be using this time to study. Don't forget to take those mental breaks, whether that's, you know, driving, you know, driving around, having some lunch and you just winding down for an hour, having some drinks, drinking some wine. You know, I love me a good Stella. I'll drink me a whole Stella by myself. Get you some Pink Whitney, like take you a shot or two, like do what's going to help you decompress because at the end of the day, we can't be studying and we stressed out all the time. Like it becomes a burnout at that point. So making sure you set aside a time times for yourself. Like, even if it's like, okay, if I study for like two hours, let me take this hour break, you know, take a nap, wind down, watch a movie, catch up on an episode or something. But don't get in the habit of taking up too much time. Like I'm not saying y'all can be going out to the club every weekend and then still expect the got dang on pass all these tests and these uh, exams. That's not gonna happen. I ain't going to say it's not going to happen. It ain't realistic to me. But if that's you, I mean, hey, have your fun, boo. But me, for me, I can't do that. I can't go out every weekend and then still, you know, still study for all this stuff because it's so much information in a short amount of time that it's like, I got to choose. Like, this weekend, I can go out. Next weekend, I can't because I got to study. Like, it's been plenty of weekends that I gave up, plenty of holidays that I couldn't participate or do things. Like, but those small moments that I did have time to do things, I did do. So, just being able to set aside some time to make sure you okay. Do what makes you happy. Just do not get into the habit of where it's like, it's excessive because at the end of the day you're trying to get a, a, a degree and you have a lot of information that you have to do because at some point in time you're gonna have people lives in your hands so just you know keep in mind with that and number six which is something that i had to learn it is okay to fail it's okay it, it's okay to fail like, I think sometimes people come into the nursing, come into nursing like, oh, yeah, I got to get all these, this, 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 this. No, you don't. You're not going to be able to pass every single test. You might have a bad test day or you just might have a bad day in general and then it just, you know, contributes over to your test. 
it's okay to fail, but you need to make sure that that fail wasn't something like, oh, whatever, shrug it off and just, you know, keep failing. No, use that fail. When you fail, it's okay to, you know, cry a little bit, dry them tears up and let's get to studying. Let's figure out what happened for me to fail so I don't do that again. So that's the whole point of what I'm saying that it is okay to fail. We're not perfect people. Nobody is perfect. I'm not, you. if you that type of person that can just ace every exam, kudos to you. That ain't me. I failed me a couple of, a couple of tests and I still was able to pass because I learned from those fails. So you have to, it's okay. That's why I say it's okay to fail because you got to figure out where you went wrong to go right. So, hey, <laughs> but do not beat yourself up for too long about a failed test or a failed exam. Because guess what? It's another one that's, that's already ready. But you, you worried about fail, the, the test that you just failed. You need to be prepared for the next one. Get up, dust yourself off, dry them tears, and let's go ahead and get this next test. We're going to ace the next one. Period. So, <laughs> yeah. And um, number seven, in your darkest moments, never give up. I have been in moments in within my first semester where I just felt like, like, dang, like, this is really hard. Like, this is a lot, like, have you questioning everything. But you have to remember when you get in that space, you remember, I got into this program. I got accepted into this program. So I'm meant to be here. It's okay to not be okay. But what is not okay is you staying in that I'm not okay state. Don't give up on nursing school because it gets a little tough or outside stuff is bothering you so much because I'm a living testimony because I have been challenged everywhere and I did not give up. It was times where I was tired that to the point where I'm just walking and I'm like, dang, I don't even remember, you know, getting here or I'm driving and I zone out and I'm like, dang, I made it home or I'm so tired to the point where it's like, I feel bad for trying to go to sleep because I'm like, dang, I should be studying. Though, do not give up because the end destination is going to be so worth it. Like, I feel like God gives you direction. And I think sometimes people fall short because they're like, well, I know where I'm trying to be, but I know where I'm trying to go, but this is where I'm at now. God is saying, okay, your end result is here. Your starting position is here. I'm going to give you the directions to get to your destination. But in that, I'm not telling you that it's not going to be no accidents or it's not going to be no, no uh, traffic or it's not going to be no flat tire or it's not going to be a pothole or it's not going to be any de delays in the process of you getting to your end destination. You have to learn how to navigate through all of that to get here. Because at the end of the day, we're trying to get our degree. We're here. That doesn't mean that we're not going to fail a test here. Or feel sad here. Or feel hopeless. But we're getting here. And it is not impossible to get here. Because many others have. So, making sure that you know to not give up on yourself is you're going to get through it. You're going to get through it. And also, this is like a bonus one. Lean on your cohort. Um, I'm not saying y'all got to be best friends or anything because different people inside of your cohort may be good at different things. Like for instance, I'm more of a, I can get, I can find out information, I can get it together, and then also I can distribute it out to the group. And I'm good with, you know, getting along with everybody, distributing out information for everybody. And what I don't understand, I can kind of talk my way through to 
figure out a solution to it. Like, we're going to find this answer. It may take a minute to get here, but we're going to find the answer. And then you may have another um, classmate that's good at stochastic calculations, or you maybe have another one that's good at pharmacology, or maybe another one that's good at this particular thing. You have to lean on each other because at the end of the day, you guys are a cohort. Y'all together. Y'all move forward together. So being able to remember like, oh, hey, I can call up such and such. She's pretty good with that or he's pretty good with that. Like you got to, you know, lean on each other. So, yep. But those are some of the things that um, I wish I knew. But those, you know, a little bit of advice for anybody that's in nursing school or is a Oh, was about to be into nursing school um i wish everybody the best of luck um I, like i said i will be doing more videos like i said i did have to get adjusted to the first semester um but now that i got kind of a groove of it um once i you know move forward i would make more videos and be it and be more detailed as i can and with my experience i'll be as upfront as i can about it um, but yeah, but it's challenging, but it's not impossible. Um, if you guys have any video suggestions or things that you would want to know, um, just drop it down in the, um, the, the comment section below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thank you guys for all my subscribers and I will see you in the next video. Bye.